Here we're going to look at a nice geometry problem. It's not super hard, but I think it's nice. And it comes from this book called A Beautiful Journey Through Olympiad Geometry. And so I'll put something about it on the screen right now, and you guys can check it out if you're interested in that. And so our setup goes like this. We've got an equilateral triangle A, B, C. And then next we have a point D on the line segment AB and a point E on the line segment BC. And they are arranged in a way so that the line segment AD and the line segment BE are the same length. So that means I could maybe put D right here and then I could put E right here. And so in other words here we've got AD which I'll put in pink like this, is equal to BE, which I'll also put in pink like this. Okay, so that's our first setup. And then next we wanna let F be the intersection of these line segments AE with CD. So let's maybe put those line segments on the board. So AE, so that's gonna be like from this vertex of the triangle to this point right here, which we added. So let's see, that's something like this. And then we want um, CD, so that would be kind of that its companion over here. So that would be something like this, good. And then this point here at the intersection is the point that we're going to call F. So that would be this point right here. And then our goal is to find the angle measure of CF E. So maybe we'll give this thing a name. Let's maybe call this angle theta. And so our goal is to find that angle measure theta. So we're going to focus on two small triangles that make up this picture. And those two small triangles will be triangle ABE and also triangle CAD. And actually those triangles seem to be congruent. And so let's see if we can prove that carefully. So I first want to notice that AB, that line segment, is congruent with CA. And that's because our whole big triangle ABC is equilateral. And then furthermore, we have angle measure ABE is equal to angle measure CAD. Okay, so, and both of those are equal to 60 degrees. And again, these two facts come from the fact that triangle ABC is equilateral. Great. Now we can apply our given fact, which is that AD equals BE. So let's write that here, AD equals BE. And so that's given in the problem. And so these three things together, side, angle, side, imply that those two triangles that seem to be congruent are actually congruent. So in other words, we have triangle ABE is congruent to triangle, let's see what it is, CAD. Now we can extract some more information out of this. So we know that all of the component angles and sides of these two triangles have to be congruent. In particular, this tells us that angle EAB is equal to, in measure, to triangle DCA. DCA. So let's maybe put those on the board in yellow. So EAB, that's gonna be like this angle right here. So maybe I'll name that alpha and then D, C, A, so that's gonna be down here, that is also angle alpha. And now we're ready to start finishing this off. So notice that we know that this entire angle here, D, A, C, is gonna be 60 degrees, that's because this whole triangle is equilateral. This portion of the angle has measure alpha, but that's gonna tell us that this portion of the angle has measurement 60 minus alpha. Okay, and then next, we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So that means that this number right here is gonna be 180 minus 60 minus alpha plus alpha, but 60 minus alpha plus alpha is just 60. So we get that right there. So that's gonna make this 120. So that's this angle measurement right here. 
And then finally, because this makes a straight line, theta is supplementary to 120. And so that means that angle measure theta is 180 minus 120, which is 60. And I know that a lot of you guys want really hard geometry problems on the channel, but you guys are just gonna have to wait while I build up that skill. I have to admit that geometry is not really taught that well in the United States unless you did contest problems as a child, which I never did. Um, so I have to train myself in these geometry problems just a little bit at a time. So that means making simple videos like this until I really internalize all of the rules. And that's a good place to stop.